Bradford essay is a widely used method among protein determination assays. It has been found by Marion Bradford in 1976. The Bradford protein assay involves the addition of an acidic dye, Comisibrillin Blue G250, to the protein solutions. The amount of protein present in a sample is determined by performing a simple colorimetric reaction and comparing the results with those obtained from standard amount of protein. The Bradford standard assay detects proteins with molecular weight greater than 3 to 5 kilodaltons. The Comessi dye G250, which present in Bradford, binds to proteins through ionic interactions between dye, sulfonic acid groups, and positive protein amine groups, as well as through Van der Waals interactions. The dye exists in three forms cationic form, which is red, neutral form, which is green, and anionic form, which is blue. Under acidic conditions, the dye is predominantly in the doubly protonated red cationic form, and it gives absorbance at 417 nanometers. When the dye binds to protein, it is converted to a stable unprotonated blue form. It is this blue protein dye form that is detected at 595 nanometers in the assay using a spectrophotometer or microplate reader. During the formation of this complex, the red form of Comessi dye first donates its free electron to ionizable groups on the protein, which causes a disruption of the protein's native state, consequently exposing its hydrophobic pockets. These packets in the protein's tertiary structure bind non-covalently to the non-polar region of the dye via the first bond interaction, which position the positive amine groups in proximity with the negative charge of the dye. The bond is further strengthened by the second bond interaction between the two, the ionic interaction. When the dye binds the protein, it causes a shift from 465 nanometer to 595 nanometer which is why the absorbance readings are taken at 595 nanometers. Two common proteins used for standard curves are bovine serum albumin and immunoglobulin IgG. These two proteins have different amino acid compositions, which leads to a different standard curve and a slight difference in the final determination of the unknown protein concentration. Because the color development is dependent on the amino acid composition of the protein and the presence of a protistic group, especially carbohydrate, also influence the protein assay. A purified sample of the protein being assayed, or a closely related protein, is a preferred standard. The procedure for Bradford protein assay is very easy and simple to follow. It is done in one step where the Bradford reagent is added to a test tube along with the sample. We have to prepare protein samples in six tubes with different concentrations. After mixing well, the mixture almost immediately changes its color to blue. When the dye binds the proteins through a process that takes about 2 minutes, a change in the absorption maximum of the dye from 465 nanometers to 595 nanometers in acidic solutions take place. After plotting absorbance and concentration values, initial concentration of unknown sample can be calculated by simply multiplying with the dilution factor. For example, if 100 ml of 1 to 10 dilution of the unknown protein solution gives a reading comparable to 60 microgram from the standard curve, the concentration of the unknown is calculated as 6 mg per milliliter. First, we make serial dilution. We take 1 milliliter from 1 mg per microliter bovine serine albumin solution. Then we put into the first microcentrifuge tube. Then we take 500 microliters from this first tube and then we mix with 500 microliter water. Then this has been repeated for 4 times until we have a solution that has point 0 to 1 milligrams per milliliter.
We first label 9 to 6 well played to understand where each sample is. Firstly, we put 5 microliter water to use as a blank. After we take 5 microliter sample from each labeled microcentrifuge tube and add into 9 to 6 well plate in 3 replicates. Then we add 250 microliters bread for reagent to each well. Before we go on to the measurement, we have to wait for 5 minutes for the reaction to take place. After waiting for 5 minutes, 
we use the ELISA reader for the measurement of absorbance. We place the plate into the ELISA reader. Then we launch the microplate manager software. We now need to introduce the system where the blank is. So we marked where the blank is on the 96 well plate on the software. We now need to choose the correct wavelength in which the absorbance will be measured. So we choose 595 nm wavelength. We then start to run. At the end, we will get absorbance values for each well. These are the raw data that we exported from the ELISA reader. We placed our sample solutions only to this right side of the 96 file plate, so we are only interested in this highlighted values. As there were three replicates for each value, we calculated the average absorbance for each sample. These are the known BSA concentrations. Now we will paste corresponding average absorbance values to here. Then we plot the concentration absorbance curve. And now we see nonlinear curve here, meaning that the Bradford assay will not work well when the concentration of unknown sample is out of this linear range. The nonlinearity represents a serious limitation of Bradford assay and it often requires multiple dilutions of the unknown samples. So we need to work in the linear range of this initial curve. To make linear curve, we need to use the values from 0 to 0.125 mg per milliliter. Now, we will add an equation for this linear curve to make our calculations later. We should ensure that absorbance value of the unknown protein is in this linear range. When we look at the absorbance value of the unknown sample, which is 0.488, we see that it is in between the linear range, so we can go on with our calculations. We are trying to determine the concentration of our unknown sample by using its absorbance value and the reference curve. So the unknown concentration, which is the x in the equation, can be calculated by subtracting these values and then dividing by the slope. And we found the concentration of our unknown protein as 0 0.081 mg per milliliter by using Bradford assay. Bradford is a commonly used assay that enables rapid and simple protein quantification of cell lysates, cellular fractions, or recombinant protein samples for the purpose of normalization of biochemical measurements. Mm -hmm.